Right. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Topic number four, which is, can we take rejection? Do you be like, okay, that's fine. Or do you need, hold on, I said, do you like, be like, okay, or do you move on? Or does, does it bother you so much that you continue thinking about it? Like, can you take rejection? Like, how are you on your breakup thing? Like, matter of fact, we're going to tie it all into question five so we can wrap it up. So can you take rejection? Like, if your relationship is over, do you need closure? Like, or are you like, you know what? I knew this was coming to an end. I agree. We don't. This is over with. Or how do you want to end it? Do you need a text message? A phone call? A sit down? What do you? What need? you mean, like, re- like relationship? No, rejection? Oh, you mean like somebody just you try to shoot your shot and somebody rejected you? Like, with- yeah, we talk about two different things. All right. Well, I, okay. Well, then I'm gonna separate the question because I was trying to ha- wrap it up into one. So yeah, rejection as far as like um, because what happened was uh, I saw a news article in Conway. I don't know if y'all saw it when I shared it, but uh. A girl, DoorDash girl in Conway, South Carolina, she was um delivering whatever it was on her way back. And then a guy pulled up and he was like, yo, uh, let me get your number. And she's like, oh, I got a boyfriend. And he was like, flash the gun. And he was like, let me get your number. And, uh, and she gave him her phone. He put it in her phone. Then he gave it back to her. And he was like, and if you got a man, I'll beat his ass. Like, she th- he thought, I'm like, which me and my cousin Quincy... I tagged him, so I don't want nobody thinking that's my man and that that's my cousin. But me and him kind of had a conversation about that. Oh no, people be trying to be in business. Um, people be um, we had a conversation about this a couple weeks ago, and a lot of guys, <laughs> what the fuck? A lot of guys, um go on somewhere with this. <laughs> a lot of guys be thinking like I, women, we're over exaggerating when we say guys can't take no. They be like, uh, uh yeah. But honestly, guys don't like when women say, no, or I got somebody, but we can just be friends. Like, nigga, I just told you I got somebody. Like, what, what you want? You want me to get my ass beat because you want to call me or text me? Like, guys can't take rejection. So how are y'all with rejection? Like, are you? Um, I'll go. I'll just go ahead and get this out there. Um, I don't think this is anything that's going to be surprising. I can't take rejection. I can't. <laughs> That's, that's one of the big reasons why I don't shoot my shot. I can't. I'm the type of person where I'll get shot down and I'll be thinking about it for the next two weeks. And I'm like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. But that's because I'm sensitive in general. So I just, I just, I can't do it. But so I do of, that point. Well, with that being said, so when guys do shoot their shot at you and you reject them, how do you think they take it? I mean, don't get me wrong. No, 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 no. I'm not saying <laughs> That they're not, you know, putting themselves out there. I'm not saying that, you know, they probably don't feel the same way, but I'm just saying I don't do it because I can't take it. I think the type of guys, because you know, women get killed for rejecting guys. Oh, so, yes. yeah. So like, I, I, like, if you can't, if a guy can't take rejection, I don't think they should be shooting their shot. If you run, if you get to the point where you want to kill somebody because they said no, like, you, you can reevaluate some things. But I mean, I'm sure guys feel just as, you know, as shitty as the next dude. But I just. <laughs> Me personally, I can't do it. I just can't. How do y'all take rejection, guys? Like, how, well, I don't. Well, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Jared, if y'all would... how how do you take rejection? Like, or do you or do you do the rejecting? I mean, now rejecting is. I mean, you get rejected sometimes. Sometimes you do the rejecting. But if you're the one, you know, you hollering at somebody and she say, "Nah, she ain't really feeling you." You just gotta move on, like instantly. I don't do the whole lingering. You know, like, oh, you got a man, though? Or can we be friends? Yeah, I hate oh, that. Hey, <laughs> okay, all right, well, hold it down. And that's it. And I'll leave. <laughs> well, hold it down. Exactly. I agree. Yeah. I mm-hmm. definitely agree. Um, for me, it was hard to take reject. It was really hard to take rejection, like, when I was younger. Um, But growing up, you know what I'm saying? Now it's just like you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, ain't go- I might not go 100% from the field. But that one make could be the game winner. You know what I'm saying? So like I, I'ma shoot that thing. You know what I'm saying? Now I just I just I just don't care. You know and, and and it's not that I don't care whether I get the girl or not. It's more so like rejection is familiar. It's familiar. It's more so for me like I'm more be would be concerned with succeeding rather than getting turned down if that makes sense. Wait, In some cases you said rejection is familiar meaning like rejection it is happens familiar. a like, lot. It not that it happens a lot but it, it I'm not, I'm not married, 
So obviously, <laughs> <And that he's laughs> more time I've been rejected more times than than I've I've actually gotten a girl. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm willing to take that shot because, like I said, the shot that one shot could be the game winner. I could be talking to my wife and not know that. And if I'm letting my insecurities get the best of me, and God's sitting here like, listen, this is your wife, like here. And it's like, nah, I ain't gonna do it because I'm scared. I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? So like sometimes you just gotta take the chance. I mean, I'm uh, as, <laughs> as a dude, you're gonna take a lot of L's hollering at girls. You know what I'm saying? Some of them gonna be feeling you, some of them not. But you just gotta try. That's it. That's all you it, can do. Uh, try. That's just what it is. Sometimes you can be like, what's up? And they be like, no. And I'd be like, all right, bet. <laughs> take it I feel like you gotta have something else going on in order for you to like take it that personal where you do all of these extra things like you really have to have something going on for you to be that serious about rejection it's gotta be you, it's gotta be it's gotta be something within yourself because my thing is I don't know you enough to really really feel a certain type of way I want to get to know yeah. you I want to I want to see what life is going to take us but I don't know you enough to be like really really hurt when you're saying I'm just not interested there's, I don't think there's maturity in that. But it you know happens. So like I've, I've like, I've like literally had to just to keep from anything escalating or getting worse than what it is. Like I'll just literally have to give somebody a fake number just so they can like get out of my face and leave me alone because they start oh, to. Like, I'm gonna tell like, you where I'm gonna tell you where the mess up is with that because you. women like persistency and they think that all women like persistency and they think that women no, that like say no, no at I first. Mean, like it, no, it for happens. some women. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's just mm -hmm. like, you know, sometimes you want to just, I mean, honestly, I mean, it, it ain't right, but it's just like uh, the, another, the way women dress, you know, we have to be conscious of all these things, but it's not because yeah. it's right. It's because like there's things that could happen if not. Like if I, you know, just be like, I can't just be like, oh, no. If somebody's just like, I, I which I feel like you have a right to, if somebody say, you know, let me get your number. I want to get to know you more. I have every right to say, no, I'm not interested. Keep it moving. But sometimes you really can't do that because guys take that to heart. Some guys take that to heart. And literally, for whatever reason, internally, that they feel like they want to lash out. Like, some guys really try to, like, you know, like, like, be you about it. Yeah, yeah. they like, bitch, you ain't all that anyway. Yeah, like, like, name calling, name calling, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, they just like, even with the calling you were saying, where, like, you'll just give a fake number so they got your face. Remember that stalking guy? I don't know if you tuned in for that episode or if you were on it, but remember I was telling you guys about the guy that I gave my number to at the job I was working and he literally was stalking me after I was like, you know. Oh, wait, I think I do remember you bitching it. Yeah, that. so him. He called me right after I gave him my number to make sure I gave him the right number. Yeah, I was like, going to mention that. I was going to say, I was going to say, Whitney, sometimes right that now. can be dangerous. So just... I, I see yeah, it can, it can it can be dangerous, but if I'm giving you a fake number, I ain't standing around to, to listen to you. <laughs> all. Like I'm literally I'm engaging in, in whatever the conversation is, getting in my car. Oh, but you ain't giving me a number. Okay, eight zero zero seven six six seven, and then I'm I'm going like I'm not even standing around to even let you give me a. Well, give see, me I was at that. work, so I mean. <laughs> yeah, like, and it's it's crazy that that has to happen. Like I don't I I mean I just don't understand like why does it have to be that serious. You know? Yeah, Eric has said in, in the comments that um I can't count how many times I had to play boyfriend to a stranger because S was getting out of hand. Yeah. Literally, like either. literally the open mic I hosted last week, there was a dude outside with a female and he was clearly drunk, clearly inebriated. And we had to kind of just be like, hey, you want to come inside? Let's go inside. Take a shot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just to get him away. Oh, like the girl? You, know you, had, you had to do that to the, the girl. girl. Oh, you yeah, had to like, save like, her. Okay. Had to, yeah, because it's just men, men, yeah, men really like, yeah, they really it's the same can way. Be like, if it was like, this the same way. If it was like, let's say it was a, a night, it was at night, and a female, she could be, let's say, just coming from going out. You know, she looks nice. She cannot not even have on anything revealing. She just looks nice. But you have this one female that may be walking to her car, you have these group of guys over here. Like She should be yeah. able to walk to her car without feeling like she has to be harassed. But because yeah. Yeah. a lot of times that's not the case, you have like all of these guys hounding this one person. Sometimes, I know X said he played it, like sometimes guys have to even step up and just be like, you know, let let this woman get Ew. to her car without y'all yeah. like being all up on her. Like it's, it's really like yeah. those situations where sometimes I say, or a lot of times I say, you know, 
a lot of times men will say, you know, we had it hard. You know, you don't know how it is going out here. and We come back home and we just need somebody to, you know, be our peace. Those are the type of situ situations that we always have to deal with. Like you can't go to your car. You, it, it's, you know, something might happen. You can't reject the guy because he might try to flash a gun and your life is threatened now. Those are the type of things that's yep. like so difficult because it's so simple and it should be just take your L and move, but it's not like that. And I don't and understand why, because for me, it's more... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I think Jared was trying right, to right, talk, right. but I don't know if something's on his mind. <laughs> I don't know if my son is muted or what. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like you were trying to talk before, but your mouth was moving, but nothing. I couldn't hear nothing. No, I'm saying flashing a gun just to, like, flashing a gun out of, out of anybody for, to get a phone number is pretty psychotic. Like, someone's wrong with that guy. He's not normal. That's not a normal dude. <laughs> not yeah, normal. I believe that. Yeah, they charged him with, like, robbery because by him taking her phone and, so, like, but he did give it back to her. But they charged him with a couple things. His mugshot, I shared it on my page um, because I was like, this some FNS stuff, but, you know. Okay. Courtney I mean, was saying something, too. What were you saying, Courtney? No, I was just going to say, like, um, how Whitney was saying, like, you know, a guy will have to step up, like, a group of guys standing there and the girls walk, to her walk into her car and then they start hounding her. A guy has to step up to save her and stuff like that. It's the whole thing is still kind of just, excuse my language, but it's still fucked up because they're not going to respect her. They're going to respect the guy first. And that's just yeah. that's so crazy. And that's still messed up. That's still that's messed so up. crazy to me. And for, they're going to look at you. Yeah. But I, I was thinking, like, also, too, Ashley, like, before you, like, split it up, because that was, like, if it's just, like, a kind of, you know, you're talking to somebody. But as far as, like, rejection, like, like how do you handle... I guess like breakups too. I guess that was kind of more of the question. Yeah, like we're gonna. Yeah. Easy. What were you saying, Jerry? I wasn't saying that. Okay. All right. So, uh, I would like we're gonna wrap that up. That fourth question up. Um, but I am happy that guys, y'all are actually acknowledging that there's some fuck boys out here that do stuff like that. And step when you do see it, step up to the plate. You know, try try to save her. No. I'm always step up. I can't stand that stuff. But um, the last question, um, which is 